Carmine Gallo, Talk Like Ted, The Nine Public Speaking Secrets of the World's Top Minds. Are you ready to captivate your audience with powerful public speaking skills? Talk Like Ted, by Carmine Gallo, delves into the art of successful presentations, taking inspiration from the world's most popular conference, TED Talks. By analyzing over 500 TED presentations, Gallo has distilled a treasure trove of public speaking secrets that can help you connect with your audience, sell your ideas effectively, and make a lasting impression. The summary ahead will present key tools employed by the best salespeople and public speakers from all over the world, such as the power of passion, the importance of storytelling, body language, speaking rate, the role of humor, and how multisensory stimulation can enhance memory retention. The Power of TED Talks In a world where competition is tough, selling yourself and your ideas has become crucial for success. In his book, To Sell is Human, author Daniel Pink explains that we are all in sales whether we want to be or not. But where can we learn the best strategies to sell ourselves effectively? One highly effective avenue is the TED Talk. TED, a conference for leading thinkers and inventors to present their ideas, features some of the brightest and most successful people in the world. With over 500 TED Talks analyzed, the author identified the common features that make them effective. TED presenters use specific skills to get their message across, and this summary will present the most important tools used by successful salespeople worldwide. Whether you're an aspiring public speaker or just looking to improve your communication skills, the strategies used by TED presenters can be valuable resources for anyone wanting to become a better public speaker. Passion, the key to success. Passion plays a crucial role in the success of individuals, as it is the driving force that enables them to achieve their goals in their field. Passion is not necessarily about being enthusiastic about what one does, but rather about pursuing meaningful activities. This is exemplified by the founder of Zappos, Tony C., who is not passionate about shoes but rather dedicated to making his employees and customers happy. Passion is also a critical element when it comes to giving presentations. Research conducted on investors revealed that they were influenced by the passion of presenters more than their experience, education, or age. Fortunately, anyone can learn to be a passionate speaker by practicing. As the brain adapts to the input it receives, individuals can improve their speaking skills and become passionate about what they do. The Power of Pathos in Persuasive Presentations Steve Jobs was known for his outstanding ability to give persuasive presentations. But what made his talks so engaging? The answer lies in the use of pathos, the emotional connection one makes with the audience. Aristotle, the Greek philosopher, believed that persuasion occurs when three elements overlap, ethos, logos, and pathos. Ethos is about one's character or values, logos is the logical basis of the argument, and pathos is the emotional connection with the audience. According to an analysis of hundreds of TED Talks, the most successful presentations consist of 65% pathos, 25% logos, and 10% ethos. Storytelling can help create an emotional connection with the audience. There are three types of stories that can do this, personal stories, stories about other people, and stories about successful brands or organizations. Using pathos effectively is crucial for delivering an engaging and persuasive presentation. Mastering the Art of Public Speaking A good public speaker should know the perfect speed for a presentation and must pay attention to body language. Biorhythms play a significant role in listening and processing information. For instance, when people are driving and listening to an audiobook, they would prefer a slow narrator, but during a presentation, the speaker should talk more quickly. The author found that the ideal pace for a public presentation is 190 words per minute. Learning to connect with your audience through your body language is another crucial aspect of public speaking. An effective body language trick is to limit your gestures to the area between your eyes and your belly button, as movements in this area have the most impact. The Power of Surprising Information 
Captivating your audience with novel and unexpected information is vital for effective presentations. In this book, the author reveals how sharing attention-grabbing data releases dopamine in the brain, which helps the audience remember it more easily. The book highlights how this technique can be used to make seemingly dull or unremarkable topics more interesting, thereby driving home an important message. The author shares two popular TED Talks as examples of how presenters can use surprising information to captivate and engage their audience. Making your presentation memorable. Engage your audience with extreme moments and shocking statistics. Bill Gates' TED Talk about how fatal diseases are transmitted via mosquitoes became viral because he released live mosquitoes during his presentation. Other ways to catch your audience's attention is to use shocking statistics that illustrate your argument. For instance, Brian Stevenson's TED Talk on the highest rate of incarceration in America, and John Ronson's talk on the prevalence of psychopaths in society. The Power of Humor in Presentations Humor has a positive impact on our relationships and can play a crucial role in business settings. Incorporating funny anecdotes, analogies and metaphors can reduce hostility, relieve tension, improve morale and make presentations more memorable. Studies show that people with a good sense of humor are attributed with desirable traits like friendliness, intelligence, and emotional stability. Outstanding business executives use humor twice as often as average executives. In this regard, learning to incorporate humor in presentations is crucial. Nevertheless, it's important to aim for a smile and chuckle rather than just a big laugh. Keep it short and simple. Presentations that are short, concise and contain no more than three aspects are easier to remember. Have you ever noticed feeling exhausted and physically depleted after sitting through a long talk? Well, chances are your audience may face the same problem. The solution is to keep presentations short, a great example being Paul King who broke down his three-hour class into three 50-minute sessions. The results speak for themselves as students retain more information and score higher on exams. Presentations at TED conferences usually last 18 minutes because the optimum period for retention of content is between 15 to 20 minutes. Furthermore, the fewer the chunks of information, the easier it is to remember them. Harvard researchers found that most people have little trouble remembering seven pieces of new information. However, most of them have divided that figure into three or four basic information units, aka, chunks. The rule of thumb is to organize three or fewer aspects of information in a presentation. To do this, one must first answer the question, what's the single most important message I want my audience to take away? The message should be the heading, with three, or fewer, supporting messages following underneath. Finally, one needs to outline the specific content under each supporting message. Follow these three simple rules, keep it short, keep it simple, keep it organized. Sensory experience and memory retention. Our senses play a significant role in our memory retention process, and using multisensory environments can improve our ability to recall information. In this regard, Richard Mayer from the University of California sees the relation between multisensory stimulation and memory retention as a promising field for future research in cognitive psychology. Using pictures paired with keywords is an effective way to communicate with our sense of sight, as it helps avoid overwhelming and distracting the audience. On the other hand, hearing can be stimulated by using rhetorical devices like repetition, as exemplified by Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous speech, where he repeated the words, I have a dream. Barack Obama's famous phrase, yes, we can, is another contemporary example where the effective use of repetition helped to unite the electorate and highlight his message. Using the power of our senses to communicate can help us create more memorable presentations. It's time to elevate your public speaking skills to the TED level. As the book summary has shown, the secret lies in the balanced blend of passion, storytelling, body language, speaking rate, and humor. Apart from these, understanding how to capture your audience's attention with surprising information, 
creating vivid and memorable moments through extreme actions or shocking statistics, and structuring your presentation in a concise and organized way can help you deliver powerful presentations that will leave an impact. By inculcating the secrets and tools revealed in a talk like TED, you can conquer the stage, connect with your audience, and effectively communicate your ideas to the world, leaving an indelible mark on their minds.